think I acted uh, things I'm not usually uh, I, uh, every day, so uh, loud or obnoxious or angry. Or, so I, I acted the, the things I'm not, I am not usually. And I was really touched by how everyone shared a bit of themselves. I think there was a lot of nice uh, openness in everyone, so I like that, yes. Super uh, good to feel, you know, the the people um, with me and express myself without any, you know, um, I don't know, any bad feelings, you know. Like all all the time was positive, all the time was uh, I don't know uh, energy, uh, all the uh, all the time was like something that touched me. Sometimes like to feeling like or remember like my childhood, for example or I am a cinematographer, so always I am behind the camera. So, but to be in front of the camera or in front of the audience is so good. Makes me feel so like uh, free. I'm really happy that I got to uh, share the experience. It's really inspiring and Freeing with all the vocal exercises and improvisation, it's, it's, it was great. I think mostly it just reminds how uh, improvisation and theatre can be a really uh, normal part of everyday life. I feel quite liberated and motivated and energized because I came in feeling a bit tired, a bit drag draggy because I'm not a morning person and just moving and shouting and using your body and connecting with other people through that really felt and feels very, very nice. I think uh, what touched me the most is what other people shared about themselves. They could have said something superficial, but they didn't. And what really struck me and really also got through to my heart is that we just heard a bit of a story of a person and managed to still connect as humans with our emotions and act that out and feel connected in that moment. So to me, the playback theaters, um, that impro was just very powerful. so inspiring. Uh, I love the methodology, uh, the different ways to move and uh, the new inspiring uh, test that we uh, or method that we did. It was new for me. It was cool. I think basically uh, grasping the moment uh, in the improvisation, just being trying to be at the moment at that time. Uh, that's the strength that I'm taking with me in this workshop. Theater already plays a, a sort in my life, like a, has a place in my life, but I think it could, like workshops like this where you just go like you start from zero on and it's a lot about also just getting to know your body and connect with people and sound and outgoing. I think it can help a lot of young people, especially who are maybe a bit... I mean, when I was younger I wouldn't have played in theatre because I was just too scared and I would feel too cringe probably. And now I do it and I feel very happy and I think young people could do it as well if they would just try. I feel uh, grateful, uh, I feel empowered and uh, ready for starting this new journey in learning uh, the 
theatre of the suppressed uh, or the theatre of uh, uh, Agosto Boal because this is uh, something that I've been looking for for a, for a long time and I've been actually engaging in this uh, kind of theatre and it's a magic or it's not a magic it's uh, it's uh, scientific, I would say, but uh, we don't have words for that. But yeah, uh, this is a kind of theatre that uh, really touches, I think, everybody. It's so democratic.